Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our mini series for Other Side. We've got our three daughters ready to go. We're about to take our first non-tutorial mission in the graveyard. Basic objective, just hunt all the creatures. Hopefully we can do that. Notice our HP is significantly lower than in the tutorial. Uh, we have our Blade Master, Amy, Soul Slinger, Modesty, and our newest, most recently germinated from the birthing pool daughter named Martha. I named that. Pretty proud of it. She's our shield breaker. So uh, melee, ranged, and protection of sorts. But we'll learn more once we get into it. What more must we sacrifice before the end? Okay, flanking behavior. While units engaged in melee combat, attacks coming from the flank or the back will hurt more. He's suffering his ambition. Makes sense. How many more? Okay. So, uh, we can see... I, I don't know how these get placed, if there's like a random initiative roll or something. We haven't seen anything about that yet. However, uh, we're going to try and tackle things. So, Modesty's in the middle here. She's our soul slinger. Let's take a look at what skills we have. Intercepting round. Interrupt the first attack on an ally within 10 range. So 10 range, I think, is like one. Oh, wait. No, 10 range is going to be 10 tiles, I think. So seeing as we have an enemy here, enemy back there. Let's see what else we're dealing with. Uh, Wait, maybe these aren't enemies. Maybe these are just part of the structure. So that's four remaining, but the only one we see is this guy. I don't know where the others are. Okay. So tell you what. Let's do this. Let's do uh, one move. Bring it back here. Uh, just so that we're a little bit further away. I don't know if things like cover matter, but what it does matter, what it does do is make sure enemies can't get right next to you. So that's good. And we'll do, we'll interrupt the first attack on an ally within 10 range. So we'll try and protect... Um, Amy over here, I think. Or, actually, I guess we're just targeting ourselves, and it protects anybody that's within that range. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's fine. Okay, Martha, she's our shield bearer. So lunge, deals up to 208 damage three times instant action, and... Slam, deal up to 196 damage and delay target by 25 initiative units. Force the target to face the daughter. So we can use that to set up uh, flanks and stuff, I suppose. That's going to move in pretty aggressively, but I think that's fine. I don't want to go into bursts. So if I do any of these, we go into that burst and it pushes us way back. So let's just let her maybe engage here. See what happens. And then... Our Blade Master, we definitely want to get in there. We have an instant action that would kill this guy if we can get close. Or an Imbued Blade delays up to 828 damage after 30 initiative units. Ends your turn. Hmm. Okay. I think we're just going to set up here. Wait for this guy to come in. And let's just... Let's just see... How this unfolds. Oh, they're way down here. Okay, okay. Okay, so no problem there at all. Uh, you can see the area for this interrupting round, which looks really nice. However, you'll notice this one's not protected, and this is blocking our uh, sight line. So let's move in here. We'll set up... Maybe even a shot. This isn't taking AP. It's just taking um, uh, health, which is kind of nice. So range attack deals 86 damage three times. Lock the target in its current direction. And then we could even maybe get in here with Amy and uh, go for a flank there. Well, it's not so much the damage, but we can come in from behind now. This might not be necessary, but I, I want to try it out anyway. We're going to go the interrupting round. 
And then you can just chill. Martha's up next. We could probably kill this, but we might as well go over here for these guys, right? How much is this? 31 AP. So if we do one of these afterwards, it's going to put us... Uh, it's going to put us into burst. But I think that's fine if we can get the kill. How much damage here? 415? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, let's do this. Let's lunge. How now, it looks like flanking this? isn't as easy as just moving up to him. You notice that it, it did seem to turn towards us. Uh, since we're bursting anyways, we might as well move back. And I wonder if there's a way we can change the direction after we move. Doesn't seem like it right now, but... Okay, now, let's get in here. We want to have uh, 30 AP for the Slash. If we move in behind, it's 37. This will put us in Burst. Looks like we are actually hitting from behind. And it's Backstab, so 150% damage. That's no joke. will be found. Oh, this is trippy. I like it. I like it. Okay, so let's see what this thing is going to try now. New spawn. So those are our last two enemies. I do kind of want to just... I, I want to see what happens with this uh, intercepting uh, round. I'm going to move here and set this up. I know we're taking damage 10% of our total HP pool for doing this. I don't even know if this one's going to make it close enough to try it, but we'll see. Oh, it's gone back to her. Hmm. Should we try it again, and then we just pull these guys back? It's costing us a lot, but I really want to see how it works. We could just be slicing and dicing these guys, I think. And we'll set these guys, I think, just over here. Just to get a feel for this. We can do an imbued blade thing as well. After 30 initiative units. So that's going to be beyond here. That would put us at this spot. Let's put it on this one. Is that how it works? Or do we just do it on ourselves? Actually, it looks like we kind of have to trigger a range around it. Yeah, interesting. Okay, cool. That'll be something that takes a while to get used to is figure out which skills are targetable. Here we go. Yeah, that's sick. It was kind of like an Overwatch, but it has to stop an actual attack, not just movement. That was smart. So the attack goes off regardless of an enemy's there or not. Very cool. Now we'll just take these guys out. Is it? Hey, you're fine there. If I move in here, how many is this? 67? Then we can still do the, uh, the lunge. So notice how that one moved uh, face towards us when we came in there. We'll have to try and figure out what that is that causes it. All right, cool. Exquisite. 
Very basic battle, but we're going to learn a few things here. We learned about that Her interrupting shot. Daughter is spent. She must rest till a new day. Okay. Gathered Vitae, 150. Memories recovered, zero. Enemies killed, four. So, our Soul Singer, the one that we kept using the that interrupt skill with, is low because of us spending the HP to do it. Come what may, we will slow suffering's progress. XP seems to be different between them. I don't know if it's purely based on kills. We'll have to see. Uh, but they all leveled up, and this one has a trait unlocked. Don't know what that means. I'm sure we'll learn. Recollections. A recollection ends if you have no way to continue. If you get beaten by a boss, or if you choose to end it yourself. Okay. This will let you start a new try on the first day and gives you access to more shards. Oh, they are called shards. Uh, resources that you gain from missions, and you can use to buy remembrances or power-ups. Okay. You can only move to the next day after closing at least one synapse. Rest your daughters. Daughters need to rest. They cannot fight more than once per day. So you can only move to the next day after closing at least one synapse. Makes sense. Now, does that bring them back up to full health, I wonder? One of your daughters can learn a new skill in the inner void. Enter. Nothing I'd love more than to enter the inner void. Uh, so no, her health is still low. Maybe this is this is not um, something that just recovers at all. We'll see. Select a daughter, observe her in more detail to learn about her. Here you can see your daughter's stats, traits, and skills. So some of these are going to be... I guess you'd liken it to Darkest Dungeon quirks and stuff. Each time you unlock a new skill... You have to choose between two different abilities. Lightning Strike for instant actions. Dash up to five tiles and deal 329 for 30 AP. It's not bad. Or an immovable stance. React to an enemy finishing movement in melee range. So it's like pseudo Overwatch. Um, it's kind of like an area of control. They move into melee range, deal up to 459. I think this is probably more flexible. Plus, now that I don't know how HP recovery works, this might not be the best option. So let's go with Lightning Strike. So now she's got the Slash for 699 in one attack, but you have to move into place first. Equipped Memory. What the? Okay. Skills can be unlocked by reaching new levels of mastery and upgraded with memories. Open the Traits tab. This daughter has earned a new trait reflecting what she's experienced. Traits cannot be removed or changed even in death. I love that. Okay, show me. Sacrifice or regenerate. Uh, I don't want to do that. So I think it's one of these daughters that actually earned that trait. Okay. Martha. New skill. Blacksmith's Grace. It's a reaction. Increases armor by 180 for 40. Uh, and move up 15 initiative units on the timeline for each incoming attack. And where shield bash is instant. Deal up to 323 damage and push the target away 5 tiles. Enemies pushed into each other in objective. Take up to 120. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, a tactics game I tried a few months ago called, I think it was Iron Danger, where you're moving people into each other. Or Fort Triumph? It's one of the. Uh, maybe it was Fort Triumph. But uh, pretty cool movement mechanics. What do we want to do? Instant or a reaction? This is nice because if you feel like you can block someone's path, maybe save somebody, uh, you can do a heavy amount of damage reduction. Let's try this. Maybe get some kinetics going. Here we go. So she's got an aggressive trait. So she's getting extra 50 damage. From her first step, she has led the fight against evil. I don't know if these are random. It did say that it was based on their experiences. So something in that fight triggered it. New skill available here. Shadow Round. This is our Soul Slinger. So our ranged unit. 
Deal up to 250 damage to enemy in range taking damage from an ally. Oh, interesting. So you're basically adding 250 damage. This is probably a pretty wide range or pretty long range. Let's see what's happening here. I'm just watching this. So shadow round. Yeah. So she triggers that and then these guys attack and they take extra damage. Or Wrathful Rain. Deal up to 350 AoE damage, then move to an empty tile. So that's nice if we get surrounded. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. Plus, for learning, these instant actions, I think, are just a little bit more, you know, easier to understand. So I'm guessing if we regenerate, we can probably heal. And maybe that uses up uh, Vite, but let's see. Uh-oh. Uh, the only way to heal a daughter is to sacrifice another daughter of an equal or higher level. The surviving daughter will be healed and receive a fragment of the sacrificed daughter's soul. Gaining some of its power. The sacrificed daughter will be laid to rest in the cemetery. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I did hit re... I thought I hit regenerate, but... Yeah. Same idea. You're sacrificing to regenerate. So this is either you can trigger one for tagging them as a sacrifice or the one you want to regenerate and goes into that screen. Okay, that makes those skills where we're spending that HP really, really important to consider. Okay. One of our daughters can learn a new skill in the inner void. Yes, we've been in there. Do we have multiple skills? No, I think we're clear. Next recollection. You can start a new recollection at any time. This gives you more shards with which to activate remembrances. Uh, let's just go into a synapse here now, I think. So challenging or impossible. I've chosen the impossible one. We're going to go on challenging. It's a rescue. Let's see what's different here. Escort and save the bright soul. Okay. Now, if we look at this and we get info, can we see their, yeah, initiative push resistance. Mission start initiative, 44. So that's how you figure out who's going to be going first. Blade Master and our Soul Slinger, who we have to really consider carefully now. Shows us what type of threats we're going to be dealing with. Openness, I guess, is a mission description. Yeah, this is cool. It's a lot to take in because we don't really know how things tie together yet, but hey, I'm on board. I like learning. Sacrifice before the end. Reach the escape area, then use the leave skill for the Bright Soul and each daughter. You'll lose if the Blight Soul is As killed. The plague ravaged the city. They trapped the healthy within. You now have access to more skills, allowing you to combine direct actions, interrupt, and reactions. No pressure. So here's our bright soul. Okay. Well, I don't think you should be in the lead. Let me tell you that much. We need to get down to this, I suppose. Cool. We can tab through our units. All right. Well, I'm just going to move you back here. What other skills do you have? None. You have move and leave. <laughs> I'm just going to put you in the back. Instant action reanimation. What the? Okay. Wrathful Rain, that's if we get surrounded. We can actually just take a couple of shots here. Again, and that'll leave us right at 50. Um, they are locked. That's what the shot does. And so maybe that's what happened in that previous round. That's right. We uh, In the previous video, I was talking about how they kind of face us when we move around them. I think in order to get that flank, we want to have them uh, locked. 
These guys are going to be coming in. Yeah, we should probably just end the turn over here. Okay, Bright Soul again. I think I'm just going to leave you here. There's nowhere I want to put you in front, that's for sure. All right, Martha. What's going to be our best option here? Two hundred thirty-seven damage three times. This guy's coming in hot, and he's got a decent chunk of health. This is twenty-five. This is going to push back five tiles. One, two, three, four. So we could probably hit this one. I go in here for fifty, and then do the push. It's going to put us into the um, burst, but I want to try it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Can't push him if we kill him. Cool idea in theory, though, Chris. Thanks, man. All right. Let's, uh, let's have you sit here. Maybe in those, since we've already bursted, it makes sense to just move back. But All right. Dash five tiles and deal up to 329 damage. This guy's got quite a bit going on. The imbued blade we have to target around us. Now, we don't know where this guy's going exactly. That's the thing. So, should we just go in here and battle? This would be 48 to move up there, and then we go into burst. So maybe we just wait. We can move up like a tad, do an imbued blade somewhere in this direction. Assuming he's got to come down here to attack. I guess that... Okay. I'll have to pay attention to where this falls in the timeline, because we just activated it before any of these guys are even going to be close. This is trippy. It's hard to It's hard to think about it like this. Uh, let's see. Let's take a shot here. We're still not in burst, so let's stay here now. And then our Blight Soul... Hmm. What do we want to do with you? Let's go here for now. If these two start shuffling down this way, then we can kind of push up with Martha as the uh, cover. And then Amy. Which one's which here? This guy's not coming in for a bit. So even if we imbued Blade here after 30, that puts us here, which doesn't really help. Maybe I should just get in here and battle. That means we're probably going to take some damage from this one. Six ninety nine. We won't be able to kill. Uh, this will do forty five, thirty, thirty. That's if we could do two of them, that would be great. What if I go here? Thirty eight and then thirty thirty. Six nine nine. It's possible. He does reduce a bit. Let's slash now. Six, three, four that we did. This could work. It does put her in burst. But uh, I think that's fine. We might get an attack from here. I got two left. I don't think there's anything I can do. Delayed action for massive shots. So that's coming in down the road. Two delayed actions on our one unit. So we need to interrupt these somehow. The first attack on an ally within 10 range. Or how much health do these guys have? 424? Four, 
This could work. We take two shots here. We can kill one. Uh, do we want to interrupt this somehow? Because Martha can get this kill. It's going to lose another 10% HP. I just don't know if I can afford that. What I should have probably done is maybe moved in a bit. And then taking, taking double shots at this one. I think I will still double shot this. If I can. Why isn't it letting me do this? Oh, I'm outside of the range. That's my bad. Okay. There we go. I think we'll have enough to get these both off. Yeah, just barely with one to spare. Okay. And then I have to assume that Martha is going to kill this guy. I hope anyway. Okay, and since this is another situation, and maybe this was from the first video as well, I'm not sure uh, what the situation was, but uh, she's got that delayed action happening, so she's staying in that position, and that way we can also take advantage of um, flanking. One less to plague the innocent. Now, do they keep spawning in? I don't know. Memories of another life. Guard them well. Hmm. These are spawns. Another terror to hold I don't want to move too far ahead. You can see them coming in down here. Martha, let's move in front. Okay, we have a whole bunch coming, actually. So this white outline shows your max distance without going into burst. They worship torture and call it science. I don't know if that's science. They collect pieces of broken souls. Uh I like that they spawn in behind you, but I hate it. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. <laughs> but that's a lot more stress than I would like. Call it science. Okay. How strong are these? 353. Seven, seven, seven. I'm not 100% sure what these mean. Impressive. This is putting us into uh, burst, but. Striking. The tutorial was saying that it's a good idea to use burst when you can get kills, so I'm okay with it. Will the poor one's suffering never end? Yeah, see, I don't know what that is that just triggered there. Okay, so we got more Another spawning in. Uh, how strong are these? Both Martha and Amy get to act before this, so... I feel pretty confident that we can take these out. I think we go for the shield bash here. We try that push. And see, notice now, yeah, it is going to follow us. The 
Let's try it. Not bad. Not bad. We have anything for uh, 15. But I guess we just try and get these kills. A clean cut. The cleanest of cuts. Yes. Moving here, we'll still have a slam available. Might as well use it. Pushes that one back. And then we'll use Amy to finish it up. Progress has its cool. Setbacks. Uh, that's another way to take advantage of their uh, of flanking is to use those dash skills. Memories of another life. Guard them well. Smoke is unlocked. So we're we're seeing a bunch of stuff pop up, but we're not exactly sure what that is just yet. They worship torture and call it science. It's I really like the unique take on enemies spawning in. And call it science. Location, how they work in the timeline and that kind of stuff. Okay, this Blight Soul. Where's this one acting? Uh, I think we can deal with most of these. I should... You know what? Let's move here, just to be safe. It puts us uh, before Martha acts. So if we need to make an adjustment, then we can. Instead of just dashing all the way and being delayed a lot more. 12-19. Our slash can do this with two. We want it. If I go lightning strike and I configure the tile that I want her to attack from, doesn't look like it. Six two five. Now I'm going to lightning strike this as well. Hey, okay, modesty. We can't do anything from here. Could try an intercepting round. I don't think that's going to help. Uh, let's just wait this out. Should I say acolytes? There we go. I should have checked to see what the leave requirement was. Zero. Okay, good. See you later, Bright Soul. You're welcome. Bye-bye now. Hmm. This puts us in flanking. You can see, so when you hover this, uh, you have the gray, the white, and the red. Assuming that's accounting for um, the differences in damage that you'll do. So this will force the target to face the daughter. I don't necessarily want that. But what I do want to be able to do is use two actions. So if I use this one, I can't use any more. But it's 237 three times. And we're getting the bonus damage. It should... Well, actually, it's not going to work. 237. So we're at 283 to 293. So even if it's roughly 300 times three at the max range, it doesn't die. And then I can't attack again. Oh, 
What if we push her into our our unit? Still not as much damage as this. And then this one is going to get to act, I think. Maybe what we do this, uh, we do the the uh, the slam, so we can delay their initiative by 25 units, and that'll give Modesty a chance to probably clean it up, right? Because we're gonna go from 19 to beyond 30. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with it. We can even delay it further, or we can test out the shield bash. Looks like I think he took the extra damage. Okay, a massive shot. More spawns presumably behind us. Yeah. So I think this happens to encourage us to keep moving towards the objective, right? So where is this one? It's at 14. This one's not acting for quite a while. Whoops. So Amy could probably deal with this one. I need to move up a little bit. Might not be enough. Not quite. I think I'm okay going into burst here. No mercy. Then I'm going to start moving. Memories of another life. Guard them well. Okay. I'm not totally understanding what these are, but maybe these, maybe those skulls are what's triggering these other spawns. A new shift has just arrived. I think so. Okay, so we need to kill this one. Six nine nine. I think we can just go for it. the innocent and then we should start moving uh, these guys are all gonna come in I wonder if we should go into burst here or just play it cool hey right, let's let's move back here the burst it's fine I hope Like Butcher's 815 health or 814. And actually, if we can just dash these guys now, it might be worth it. It's, uh, I think it's probably within range. Modesty is going to be close. We're not quite there. Hmm. We can use both. Oh, okay. That's the first time we've seen a dodge. Three, two, three. <laughs> this is exactly the max that we would need. This does delay its initiative, so let's go with this one. Okay, Modesty. Let's see what you can do here. 
Uh, we do have this Wrathful Rain. Can do some damage. Moves us out in this direction. Then this one's going to act. Maybe I should run here. That's kind of cool. Actually, that's super cool. Let's be honest. How far can we move here? There we go. I think we take this. Get her out. This one's gonna this one's gonna pose a problem. Unless, you know what? Let's do an interrupting uh, round here. It's 10% health, but I mean, whatever. So that if this one comes in for an attack, she can try to stop that. And then these two can get out in the next round. Here it comes. That's a cool little animation. I like that. Oh, wait a sec. Martha's in here for a bit. Ooh, that sucks. That was a little bit of a hasty move for me there. Martha's definitely going to take damage from here. I think... I think it'll be okay. Ah, uh, we should have just left, too. Also, my bad. You can definitely see how you can get overrun, though. We could have been a lot more aggressive just moving to this area, but... Oh, this might cost us. Yikes. Let's leave. Alright, we'll, uh... These ones are acting after. This one's not. I can't see it. Still can't. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just kinda... I'm trying to experiment a little bit. You know, try things out. See what's what. Okay, let's go. We we could have done that without taking damage. But uh made a hasty decision at the end there. You Jeez. saved an innocent. So, we got uh, 400 vitae and whatever type of token this is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Base free or sacrifice? Oh, I see. Okay, if we free this, I guess the person that we rescued, we get Vitae. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to sacrifice. Together, you are stronger. The ends justify the means. <laughs> Memories are obtained when killing certain enemies. They're upgrades you can assign your daughter's what skills. You remember now? Adding various effects, anything from increasing damage or defense to impacting the timeline. Additionally, every memory unlocks a new part of the codex in the memories section. To heal a daughter's wounds, you have to sacrifice another one. Yes, we've learned that. Um, you can't, you have to sacrifice one from the same level as well, which is kind of uh, unfortunate. We could germinate a, another daughter, and you probably want to be doing this. Give life to 200 Vitae. So that you don't just have like this powerhouse of uh, daughters that you can't handle. But because we're doing like a more of a limited mini series run here, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to keep these guys alive as best as I can. Remember. Remembrances give you access to bonuses that last through the whole recollection. A remembrance 
remains unlocked once it is unlocked. Even if you start in new recollections, this is where some of like the roguelike aspects come in. Unlocking a remembrance doesn't activate it automatically. You must use shards to activate it. You earn shards every time you complete a mission, but your pool of shards is limited to those you had at the start of the recollection. Once you start a new recollection, you get access to all your earned shards. Cool. Oh, so you start a run with two, two memories. All darters gain 15% max health. Very cool. We don't have any shards, so we're not going to do that. Memories are obtained when killing certain enemies. Upgrades you can assign to your skills. Yes. Okay. Next recollection, you get 50 shards here. You start a new recollection at any time. This gives you more shards. All right. Available memories. So what is this? Is this in the codex then? Oh, cool. Memories. Recalling memories by slaying enemies will unlock a chapter of the Mother's History. Witch. Inferno. Grants the skills target 50 armor that lasts for 30 initiative. Increase the rush of a skill by 50. Man, this is like, this is really deep. There's a lot going on here. Like, this is really, really deep. Now, I don't think we have to do these. We can do them. Um, but I think what I'll do, I'm going to go to rest to the next day. Ache to battle the next nightmare. And we'll do a, uh, we'll do a synapse. Probably hard, challenging, impossible. Probably a more basic one, just so that we can tr hopefully keep people alive. I'll do this one off camera. It looks like there's a boss coming, and that might be fun to do for the third and final uh, part of this mini series. So I'll wrap it up here. Thanks again for watching. I'll get us to a boss, hopefully, and we will uh, try and see what that's like. Very good chance that we die at that boss. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it looks like... I don't know if that this is a mini boss and a big boss. No idea. Uh... We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.